props, your favorite props. <laughs> Where did you hear I from? hear everything. That's my job. Oh, no, I hope that guy hasn't heard back that I thought he was. No, there are a lot of dumbasses in this thing. It's all right. I mean, this is, uh, oh, okay. This is meet the press. You get to see all kinds. It's like actresses <laughs> and actors, you know? They're not all. They're not all. All there's Olivia. All right. All right. All right, Christina, what's your most, in the book of Christina, if we're having to read it when your life is over, what's your most fun memory of Hollywood so far? Um, I think going to on the NASA tour. I think being able to do that was, I think, one of the perks. One of those of perks life. of being, you know, in show definitely, business. Definitely, definitely. That and getting exit clearance at, like, you know, <laughs> Disney World and not having to wait in lines. I think that is, is that a, is a big, big, that perks. is a nice, nice perk, too. <laughs> um, What's been the weirdest thing about being well known? Is it going to the grocery store and people staring at you and things like that? I, yeah, I think so. Just because I always, I always forget that this is um, what I do for a living, or not necessarily that this is what I do for a living, but I forget the effects mm -hmm. of it. And so when people ask me or, or recognize me, it's very bizarre to me. I don't understand it. What is your temperature on child actors? Because you were technically a child. You started what, fourteen, fifteen? Um, no, I started at eleven. No, I was when I started speaking. It's pretty much when wow. it all started for me. All right, so now that you're <laughs> you're a young lady now, not a child actress anymore, is it something you'd recommend to parents to do? Um, I I think that it's it's leave it up to the kid. If you see that your your child has this creative nature and loves to perform, then that's where they're going to be the happiest is when they're doing that. So, you know, nurture that and and water that and cultivate that for them. In a so, very safe environment, of course. So how do you get one to turn out like you that turned out pretty good? Because sometimes <laughs> you see kid actors don't do too well. What is the pitfall there? Um, I think that, I, I, I suppose what happens is that these kids start taking themselves very seriously. And then they also didn't get a chance to be a kid, which I always, I always had that balance in my life. So that, that kept me, I think, from turning into like this insane child actor. But it can be dangerous, easily. Yeah, it definitely can. Because, I, I mean, so. I don't see how people can, it's hard to handle fame at any age. I mean, I've seen it, you know, get the best of the people when they're older, but even to have it to 10 or 11 years old and everybody knows who you are, it must be strange for a child. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I never wanted to become, um, you know, a, a victim of all of this. So I, I was very aware of that. I was aware of the pitfalls, mm -hmm. and um, I had a very supportive mom and, and family unit that, that kept me uh, on a grounded level. Are you kind of balanced now? I mean, do you think about all this acting and actressing and producing and all this show business stuff, a larger percentage than probably is good for you, or is it, you know, you know how to take a vacation and do that kind of stuff? I definitely know how to take a vacation, and I take them, even when people tell me I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I get up and I go. You know, I when think you've it's had very enough. important to have that time for yourself. It's very important to have a life outside of, of this. I think. Relationship life too. Yeah. I Is think it it's hard important. to date people who aren't actors that who you know, who don't relate to what you're maybe going through with people looking at you all the time? It's hard to date. Period. Um, that's, so yeah, it's that's definitely hard anybody. to date with uh, somebody who doesn't understand what, you know, what your schedule is like, what your life is like. Um, that you know, there's a lot of attention that's going to be on you at all times and that they have to sort of understand that so it's it's nice to be with someone who who gets it who catches it do you ever find yourself like on a date or with your boyfriend clapping and asking for craft services or something you know or <laughs> <laughs> so wait I'm on not me. sure I quite understand the wait question wait on me I am you know because um, you are you know you, no, you actors and actresses particularly that are, that are very successful as you are you are pampered right pretty much yeah. you know in, in your in your professional lives and that is a little hard. I know I've heard people tell me that are wives and husbands of famous people that they do have to remind them sometimes they're not on the set, you know, that we're not here to wait on you, you've got to take out the garbage, that kind of stuff. Well, I remember being on a set last year in Savannah, Georgia, sitting in an alley on the ground with a blender making blended <laughs> coffees for the entire crew. So, you know, I don't, I don't have that sort you don't of have attitude that on the set, no, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> is it? Do you ever? Do you like to? Do you, are you comfortable watching your work? Is it something you can do easily that you no. can cut on? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. Do you know that girl sometimes? Um, it's it, it's really hard for me to watch. Always um, has been. Always has been. Um, you know, first of all, you know, it's a vanity thing. I think too. That's the first thing I look at. Is oh God, you know, look at the wrinkles on my eyes. And then the second time I see something, you know, I'm paying so much attention to myself that I, I can't see all the other actors. Well, plus it's in so your TV hard, job, so you were watch. playing kind of a bigger than life character anyway. So she's kind of over the top, 
you know, a lot of times. So that must be a little bit even more difficult to watch. Actually, that's easier since it? it's so far removed from so my own character. So it's not you, so it's like a character. Mm -hmm. It's like watching Mickey Mouse yeah. or something. Sometimes. I mean, I, I, yeah, after a couple times of seeing something, I can definitely remove myself from it. So where do we want to be, say, 20 years from now? Do you have those kind of discussions with yourself where you're trying to go? Um, I, I just, all I know is that I want to be happy doing whatever it is that I'm doing, you know, and uh, I'm going to keep doing this and, and going day by day. Um, but I don't, I don't know where I'll be in 20 years. I just hope I'll be happy doing well, whatever I'm that doing. That is what it's all about, isn't yeah. it? Hopefully. Nice meeting you again. Thank, Thank you. you.